hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today we are in the city we're getting grayson's passport today because we are going to be traveling in december for the first time with two kids i'm nervous but i'm excited um but yeah today we're in the city doing that i'm really excited we're all excited i don't know why i'm so excited to get her passport but i am but maybe because that means like vacation you know and we haven't been on a vacate in a few months. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I will take you guys along with us and record as much as I can. So, yeah. Hey, you guys. So, today is the next day after getting um, Grayson's passport. It took such a long time while we were there, so I just didn't keep recording. Today is a Friday, and tomorrow we are having a friendsgiving with rose um katrina josh her boyfriend and arnell rose's boyfriend so i am super excited about that i'm get to unwind and dine so i'm really excited to go to this friendsgiving um i will be getting ready with you guys tomorrow and show you guys like what outfit i come up with because i have no idea what i'm wearing yet story of my life and i'm definitely gonna go get my nails done tomorrow morning and my toes um just so like i don't have to do it next week which is super hectic because of thanksgiving so hopefully a lot of people don't have the same idea that i do they um isla went on a field trip from school to see frozen on ice she is obsessed with frozen and encanto it's frozen and encanto on ice and we were gonna take her for her birthday but we're actually taking her on a vacation in december for her birthday and she's gonna be with her grandparents and stuff like that um we're going to dominican republic for two weeks we're gonna be going to punta cana first and then we're gonna be heading to santiago down after um and we're also taking grayson that's why we needed her passport <clears throat> So I'm really excited about that. I'll be bringing you guys along as well because it's going to be a very interesting, fun trip. Um, this is the first time I travel with a newborn. I never traveled with either when she was this tiny. Um, I'm really excited and I can't wait. I haven't spent Christmas in the Dominican Republic ever since. Well, with my parents together ever since I was like 12 around there or 11 um, before they separated. And with my mom, since I was like about 16, 17 years old before coming back here. For those of you that don't know and you're new here or you've, you know, you didn't catch it in any video of me mentioning that. Like, because I've mentioned it in a vlogmas that I did like a couple years ago. Um, that my parents retired. They retired in the Dominican Republic ever since we were, I was nine and my little sister was four. Um, we all moved there. So most of my childhood is there. We would only come back to new york for vacation in the summer literally like the best childhood ever like i wish i could give my kids the same childhood that i had because i honestly had a really beautiful childhood except for the fact that my parents split up um after <laughs> emotional damage but <laughs> um for the most part for the time being that they were together it was a beautiful childhood and as you get older you start realizing like why certain people don't work together and why they just needed to separate in order to have like a healthy relationship with their kids and just be happy and healthy themselves in order for them to be there for their kids as well so you know as you get older like you start realizing why things happen and why parents make the decisions that they make in the long run so I'm at peace with that now. It was really hard growing up, honestly, kind of like seeing that dynamic of my parents not be there anymore as it used to be. And it kind of really did hit me really hard. But, um, you know, as you get older, you start realizing things and you just start just appreciating the fact that, you know, even though they're not together, they're still alive and they're still here and they're still there for you. You know what I mean? And they're a healthy parent instead of a parent who's miserable and sad in a relationship that they don't want to be because of the kids you know what i mean like this is mom brain for you like i have like a million things in my brain and i have to just like kind of let it out and now i'm just like letting it out to you guys but um i'm sorry if i'm all over the place but yeah i was on a field trip jason actually went with her he wasn't going to go with her but he ended up going with her on the field trip because like 
we didn't want to miss her reaction and like how happy she was gonna be just seeing Frozen on ice and Encanto on ice for the first time like insane like I know that she's gonna be so excited like she loves Frozen like anytime she sees Elsa she goes crazy so I'm really excited for this reaction and I'll actually insert a clip here if he gets like a good reaction or good videos and stuff like that Freeze the floor! Freeze the floor! Freeze! Freeze the floor! Freeze. Freeze the floor. Go, freeze it. You got me. Let's call it a night. Good night. Don't let the frost bite. Let's do it. It's a private performance. Okay. Um, I was just wondering if you've seen another, um, young woman around here? A, a queen, perhaps? You mean the queen who caused this giant snowstorm? That one? Yes. Saw her heading up the North Mountain. North Mountain? Literally knocked out in here. And I'm gonna make myself something to eat because I am really hungry. Yesterday I didn't get to eat, like, how I normally eat. Like, any nutritionist foods and stuff like that. Um, because we were so on the run. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna take a nap, most likely. Just keeping it real with you guys, because I am really tired today. I don't have the energy to stay up until she wakes up again. The baby literally just woke up. I just put her down for a nap, and she just woke up again. Story of my freaking life lately. I'll be back. I just got a picture of Isla and like one of her like besties in the daycare. Look how cute. They even put an Elsa costume on her. I just finished doing dishes. They came back from frozen on ice. On ice. <laughs> Let's show our YouTube friends your necklace. Can you show them your Elsa necklace? Necklace Elsa. Wow, and what did you do today? Where did you go? It's snowing. It's snowing, yeah. You went to Elsie Elsa on the snow on ice. <gasps> did you enjoy it? Yes. Yes. Birthday is it next week? It's Isla's birthday. It's Isla's birthday. Say it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yay. Mom, I want to watch a movie. You want to watch a movie? Yes. What do you want to watch? Yes. You look so pretty. You look so pretty. He's a pretty spelling. Yeah. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. <laughs> no, I want a picture. You want to pick? You want to take a picture? Uh -uh. No, you don't want to. Okay, no problem. That's it. No more. Say bye bye to the camera. Say bye bye, friends. Bye bye, friends. Adios, amigos. Oh, adios, amigos. Mom, I want a picture. 
Say adios amigos. Así de no. <laughs> Say adios. Adios. Nos vemos. Bye, picture. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera anymore, so I'm going to respect that because if you don't want to be on camera, you don't want to be on camera. You know what I mean? Um, it's one of those things. It's like they're your kids and you want to show them off to the world because you love them so much and they're just so cute. And she's like, so cute. But, you know, she has, she speaks now, so she's able to tell me, hey mom, I don't want to be recorded anymore or hey mom, I don't want any pictures anymore. And... You know, you have to respect what they say and their boundaries because no matter how small they are, everyone's boundaries should be respected. And when someone says no, it's no. Baba, 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 baba. <laughs> say. Guys, so I'm currently cooking. I'm gonna be making a moro de habichuela negra. So I have all of my ingredients, pie ingredients, um, kind of like just stir frying in here. I have red onion, sofrito, I have um, one and a half chicken bouillon, I have a green pepper and a cubanel pepper, red pepper, and garlic garlic and red um oh my god and tomato paste then i'm going to be adding my beans the moto is cooking i will show you guys how it turns out afterwards hey guys so here's my meal a cup of rice and two pieces of chicken hey guys so today is the next day today is saturday today is a friendsgiving day um i stopped recording yesterday after a certain point after i ate because i was just so tired um so yeah i literally am about to i just did my hair and everything i'm about to um i showered did my hair I'm about to head out to go get my nails done. I'm gonna just repaint my nails and then I'm coming back home and then start getting ready and stuff. Something really like simple, like a nude. And literally this is just powder on my nails. Oh no, da da. I Love you. Oh love, my love, love. God, I'm so in love. Say yes, sir. Found you finally in Yemen. I love you. Say, oh, 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 oh. Say, mommy. Oh. oh. No, you smell good. Did I put the order on? Doesn't smell like you put the order on. You recorded it? Yeah, I'm recording. Eat it, sugar. You're Papa Mommy. Telling lies. You're Papa Mommy. You're telling lies? Open oh, please worry Mommy. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, You're supposed uh, to say uh, no uh, to tell. It's Papa Mommy. You're amazing. Oh my God, thank you, Mama. So Mommy tells you, right? Good job, Isla. You're amazing. Oh, sexy ass lashes. I'm wearing drama free. These are one of my favorites, aside from Isla. No way. Hey guys, so I forgot to mention what products I was using, but I will be leaving every single product with the name in the description down below.
Girl, Scorched Up, and Boom. spray it was like a texture spray it gives you like volume and texture so I'm pretty much done with my hair and my makeup now I, I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear I have no idea or what to wear I think it may be jeans with like a cute top. These are like my favorite. They're expensive, but they literally like the material is just so good. It's stretchy, like it hugs your body, it snatches you up, like it's really good. So definitely worth the money. I have those and then I also have the other ones. These are like black but like with a tinge of gray in it as well and they have this really cool like zipper detail in the bottom so that could be an option as well but girl you already know i gotta put my faja on because con mi fajita para todo lado because this little pouch just got bigger now that I had a second baby outfit we are ready to go to our Thanksgiving I told you guys that we ordered I ordered the Cinnabons from Brie I'll link her Instagram down below look how good these look you guys she's my niece-in-law you guys are in the New York area once again order some Cinnabons from her from scratch baby thank you very much so this camera literally sucks but i just want to like come on here because i wanted to update guys that we are literally like a few minutes away from Moses' house but i was pumping in the car so um with my mom cozies i got two ounces in these not bad and i feel pretty empty right now I'm gonna be drinking today and stuff, so I'll be pumping with these. And then in this one, we got what else? It's pump sesh. So three ounces right there so that's really good I'm happy with that actually very happy <laughs> hey guys so this is the end of the video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like comment share this video and don't forget to turn your bell notifications on so you're notified each time that i upload hope you guys have a great rest of your week and yeah, sending you positive vibes and love. And I will see you guys on my next vlog. Bye.